I got a promotion. And I had no say in said promotion. And welcome to this episode of Warrior TV. Congratulations to this year's seniors that were juried into the Northern Utah High School Art Competition at the Eccles Art Center in Ogden. They are Ashlyn Haramies, Mesa Hilliard, and Dawson Pitcher, and their art will be on display at the Art Center all through January. We're still getting used to the new year. Let's reflect on some of 2021's trends. Y'all, it's rewind time. You know, if I controlled rewind, I want Minecraft and TikTok. My friend here, Justin, he's already taken, and he's cracked at Fortnite right now. we along with hundreds of other creators are launching team c's and for every one dollar you guys donate like this one less pound of trash will be in the ocean Our company is now better. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Some of those trends were crazy. I heard sports have been crazy too now that I'm gone. How about a sports update? What's up, Warriors? We're now officially the sports men. Anyways, our girls' basketball team took a tough loss against Syracuse last Friday. And the boys' basketball clinched their game with a one-point win against Syracuse. Three of our boys' wrestlers placed in the top six at the Richardson Tournament. Brad took sixth, Ian took fourth, and Tanner took third. We want to wish our Warrior Reds good luck on their competition on Saturday at Roy. We also want to wish luck to our cheer team in their region competition Saturday at Corner Canyon. Girls basketball has a home game tonight at home at ver ver versus David at 515. The boys team has an away game at David's at 7. Hope to see their Warriors. Thanks, Sport Tots. Weaver has a really cool opportunity to support our own students. There's a food drive going on for those who could get some extra help. Let's hear some more about that. In the past three years, economic situations have affected a lot of people more than they may want to admit. We are still seeing repercussions from the pandemic as we're seeing prices raising and wages not meeting that standard. In fact, one in seven children across the U.S. are hungry any given day, and 13.8 million families have been food insecure since at least 2019. Weaver will be opening a food pantry to help those in need, and the goal is to keep it going year-round. Whether you need a granola bar, a grab-and-go meal, or to bring home food for the weekend, we want to provide. We as a community need to take care of each other, and so we are asking for those who can donate to do so today. Parents and guardians will be able to fill out a Google form online to schedule pickup time. The food pantry is located in room 510, which is just around the corner from the school store. Various items might include cereal, peanut butter, granola bars, fruit snacks, fruit cups, and cans of food. We're just asking that you please check expiration dates and not to bring anything that is near or expired already. We eventually want to make it possible to have donated coats, shoes, feminine products, and other various necessities. Remember that anyone can stop by the food pantry, just email Mrs. Hedgepeth, and if you scan this QR code, it will go directly to her email. Or you can stop by any teacher that has this logo near or by their door. If you have any questions about the food pantry, don't hesitate to ask your counselor, teachers you trust, or the office staff. And remember, friends don't let friends go hungry. Make sure to help donate if you can. The annual Battle of the Bands will be on Thursday, February 3rd during Flex. For those musicians interested in competing, you can sign up and pick up a packet in the office. Winners from our competition move on to the PTSA multi-region event in March. Now that we know what's going on at Weber, let's hear about what's going on in the world. Okay, you know what I find funny? Uh, 2022 has barely started and already there are weird things going on. Let's have a look at what happened so far. Megalovania was played in front of the Pope. A 
woman freaked out in Salt Lake City Airport because she didn't get an aisle seat. Dang. Unfortunately, Transformers Rise of Beasts and the Morbius movie have both been held back to 2023. Bob Saget, our favorite Full House dad, died. Sidney Poitier, the first black man to win Best Actor Academy Award, has died at 94. You are good. You are bad at that. <laughs> so that's it with the stuff from 2022. Time for me to forget that Chris Pratt is both Garfield and Mario. Thanks so much for watching this week's show. Next week, we will be demoting this guy back to sports. Oh. See you guys.